Welcome everyone. In this video, I want to go over using Netbox as a dynamic inventory source for Ansible. Um, in this video, I'm not going to do anything too crazy with Ansible. It's going to be a super simple playbook. I really want to just go into using Netbox for the dynamic inventory source. So let me go into the terminal and I have an Ansible folder. And in the Ansible folder, we have our typical Ansible config. I have my playbook, which is create configs, and then a netbox inventory file. So let's first take a look at the Ansible config file. Um, pretty simple, but as you can see, I'm using the netbox in, netboxinv.yaml file as my inventory. Now let's take a look at that file. So this is obviously going to look a really different, you know, compared to using a static inventory. Um, instead of listing all my hosts and listing the variables about the hosts and having a host vars file and all that kind of stuff. Basically what we do is we have a YAML file using the netbox plugin that calls the API end endpoint of localhost 8000, which localhost 8000 is my netbox. So from there we put my API key and then we just have a couple other things, validate certs, false, config context, false. Um, I don't have any config context in netbox and this actually comes from if you go into netbox, go to your devices, I'll click on a device, config context, I have nothing in here. So config context is false and then group by I'm going to group them by device roles um, this is because I want to differentiate between my routers and my switches so what does this file actually do well we can run a command and it's the ansible inventory command and basically what we're going to do is we're going to list all the um inventory from the netbox inv.yaml file so we click enter and let me scroll up for you um, okay so basically you can see what's going on here is we're going to the api we're grabbing the inventory we have host vars and we have the device with host vars for each individual device. So you can see this is an Ansible host R1. There's the name of the host, which is the IP address. We have device roles. We have device types, manufacturers, whatever. And when I grouped it by device roles, if we scroll down to the bottom of this output, we can see we have device roles routers. Here are my 10 routers, device role switches. Here are my four switches. Okay, great. It gives us this output. This doesn't really help us with the Ansible file, but it's a nice little visualization to show that our inventory file is working properly. So I'm going to do Alice again. And this time I'm going to show you what's in my playbook. So uh, well, my screen kind of flaked there for s some reason, but anyway, we have, you know what I'll do actually, is let's just go into V and take a look at it because, okay. Here's the first, here's the name of my playbook, create config using netbox. We're doing local connection, so I'm not actually going out to the devices. And what I'm going to do is run this playbook on hosts in the device roles router group. Um, remember, I had them list by device role so we could see the routers and the switches. I'm only going to run this playbook against the routers. We don't need to gather facts on the playbooks. And I only have one task in this playbook. Generate configs using data obtained from Netbox. Basically, I have um, in this templates folder config template.j2, 
and then the destination is going to be output and we're going to do the inventory host name dot config so let's exit out of here and what i'm going to first do is you know let's take a look at templates and i have that config templates file we'll just take a quick look at what that is actually doing um pretty it's pretty simple i'm not going to generate a full config i'm just going to give it a host name so we can see that it goes through all of our routers configures one for each device and you know gives an ip address just a couple basic things again i didn't want this video to be about um you know ansible in depth i just wanted to show you about how to use netbox for an inventory source so i'm actually gonna i already have an output folder and i'm just gonna remove that folder um just so we know nothing is in it so let's do output sorry i have to make deer output so now we can ls there's nothing in it okay great so now let's run my ansible playbook if i could spell ansible correctly ansible playbook and it is create configs.yaml so i'm going to run the playbook And we can see the play recap actually went through R1 through R10. It was okay, and it changed for each specific one. So now, if we ls output, we can see we have a config file for each of our 10 routers. Uh, let's just go ahead and cat uh, output r1.config. Well, config. And we can see hostname R1. Here's our interface, the IP address we connected to. Uh, let's do this again with R2, just to confirm that our playbook actually worked correctly. There we go, hostname R2, correct IP address, etc. So again, this is a very simple playbook, just using a Jinja2 template to create a configuration file. But the thing that we really wanted to, you know, the netbox inventory.yaml is this is really the bread and butter of it all we have the netbox plugin which is an ansible plugin you don't need to in install anything special <clears throat> you call your api with the token and you're done so this is a pretty simple task um if you have any questions leave comments below and we'll see you on the next one